it's Friday, but you already knew that. And that means it's time for the best award in all of the political world, the worst week in Washington. Now let's go through a few of the likely contenders. San Diego Mayor Bob Filner had another horrible week, capped by Senator Barbara Boxer calling on him in a public letter to resign Friday afternoon. And on a sadder note, it was a tough week for us Washington Posties, and I'm speaking from personal experience, who had to deal with the shock that the Graham family is selling the newspaper. But our pick had the whiff of victory. Let's spin that wheel. Yep, this week's winner is Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, whose campaign manager Jesse Benton was recorded saying he was, quote, holding his nose for two years in reference to serving in his current post with Mitch McConnell look. From the start, when Mitch McConnell announced he was hiring Jesse Benton, a guy who is married into the Rand and Ron Paul family, he's married to Ron Paul's daughter, he managed Ron Paul's presidential campaigns. When, when Jesse Benton said, I'm gonna go over and work for Mitch McConnell, we knew both sides were using each other. McConnell wanted credibility with the Tea Party. Benton wanted to help his guy, Rand Paul, get a little bit more establishment credibility going into 2016. Now, the problem here is that when it publicly breaks out that you had made a basically a deal on it, it's less appealing. McConnell has a challenge from the ideological right in a primary from Matt Bevin, who is going to use this conversation and ads to say that McConnell has essentially tried to pull the wool over conservatives' eyes and Jesse Benton's comments prove it. Yes, I like how McConnell, after the whole incident, had a picture with Jesse Benton holding his nose while McConnell put his arm around him. I liked how they handled that, but it's not enough. Minority Leader Mitch McConnell for handing your primary opponent an easy attack ad on a silver platter. You won, I guess, the worst week in Washington. Congratulations, or something.